demonstration of the advantages of Byford PBS approved tanker combinations including simulated on-farm milk pickup. In this demonstration, we'll show different views of the swept path of different tanker combinations. The swept path is the distance between where the outside front tyre tracks and the innermost trailer tyre tracks. The smaller the number, the better the swept path. A standard 25 metre B-double has a swept path of approximately 8.5 metres. The Byford PBS approved 26 metre A-double has a swept path of approximately 6.33 metres. A standard 19 metre B-double has a swept path of approximately 6.7 metres. The Byford PBS approved 20 metre AB double has a swept path of approximately 5.8 metres. A standard 30,000 litre long triaxle single has a swept path of approximately 6.7 metres. A 26 metre A double lead trailer has a swept path of approximately 5.1 metres. Using marking spray cans mounted in the same position on all tankers, a comparison can be seen of the tracking of each tanker combination. Byford's 26 metre A double negotiates this tight farm entrance with ease. Some road authorities have agreed to allow general access to the 26 metre A double up to 50.5 tonne at this stage. The PBS approved Byford 26 metre A double negotiates the 10 metre radius farm turnout. Note no tyre drag whilst turning. The standard 19 metre B double on the same farm turnout. Note the tyre drag whilst turning and the rear trailer cutting in.
Byford's PBS 20 meter AB Double completes the same turning arch with all wheels rolling with no tire drag. This combination will give a productivity gain of up to 46% over a single tanker. Road authorities are in the process of approving 10 tonne per single axle. Note the distance from the rear trailer to the centre of the arch. This standard 30,000 litre single triaxle tanker, while on the same farm, once again shows that the tri group becomes almost stationary and rotates sideways, creating infrastructure damage due to the horizontal force. In transit, the Byford 26 meter A double can be seen tracking extremely well, staying in its correct lane whilst turning, allowing for general traffic to turn on the inside safely. Whilst the 26 meter A double travels around the roundabout, observe the constant distance from the edge of the roundabout. Byford has 40 years of industry experience manufacturing all models of tankers and continues to do so. This presentation will evaluate the operational safety aspect of tankers on the road today. Operating the 20 meter tri bogey B double, the driver has to dangerously encroach the wrong side of the road to allow the necessary swing clearance to enter the farm. Note the lack of vision due to the crest on the hill and the fact of just passing a school bus 100 metres prior. Inclement weather will magnify this risk. Infrastructure damage caused by the 20 metre tri bogey B double is obvious on the shoulder of the bitumen. Rubber from the tyres can be seen on the bitumen surface caused from the torsion created whilst turning. This expedites tyre wear and also removes the aggregate from the bitumen surface, creating a slippery hazard to all road users to negotiate. The hubbo on this tri bogey B double is showing it has travelled 101,786 kilometres. The tyres on the third axle of the tri set can be seen to be extremely worn, and history is showing that the life expectancy is 33,000 kilometres. This vehicle is on its third set. With 19 meter B double combinations, the driver has to dangerously encroach the wrong side of the road to allow the necessary swing clearance to enter the farm. When operating the Byford 20 meter AB double, dangerous maneuvers are eliminated. The driver can safely enter and exit farm driveways legally, remaining on the correct side of the road.
Note, the school bus can safely pass the Byford 20 metre AB double, whilst the combination turns safely into the farm. Byford's engineering expertise has designed and built a PBS approved 26 metre and a 20 metre combination with exceptional manoeuvrability, mitigating stress on the driver and promoting road safety. This is Byford's ongoing commitment and duty of care to the Australian transport industry. Under direction of a local shire, Byford investigated this intersection, which highlighted infrastructure damage caused by current vehicles being operated. In this example, the driver has turned right from a farm pickup. The Shire has concerns relating to the damage caused by the tanker, shown by the marks on the road and on the gravel shoulder. On closer inspection, it is found that the single triaxle tankers are ripping the aggregate out of the bitumen, leaving only the shiny, slippery bitumen surface as the tanker turns. A standard triaxle single tanker will use the shoulder on the wrong side of the road to get the swing clearance necessary to approach or exit the driveway. Other road infrastructure damage includes breaking the bitumen edge off and creating potholes in the gravel shoulder. In this second example of a farm just one kilometre away, the same damage is evident. In light of this, it can be identified on all roads. The drag of the tri-group during turning also causes an increase in torque required by the prime mover drive tyres. This additional torque increases the pressure applied to the road surface, promoting additional infrastructure damage. Intersection movements. The standard tri-single tanker and previous combinations will cross to the wrong side of the road on approach and exit. This image demonstrates Byford's 20 metre AB double turning into a 1950s driveway. A channel crossing is directly on entry. The Byford AV double remains on the bitumen with no need to swing wide onto the gravel shoulder. Notice the white gravel used to fill potholes by the council on the gravel shoulder. These were created by single triaxle trailers. This footage shows evidence of combinations causing severe infrastructure damage whilst turning. Due to the horizontal forces created, Byford's A and AB doubles can be excluded from this due to exceptional engineering and the implementation of steer axles. Infrastructure damage caused by horizontal forces is only notable at intersections where vehicles are turning. In this graph, the amount of load on the kingpin has been modelled and calculated for five different tankers. In comparison to other combinations, the Byford 20 metre AB double and the 26 metre A double tankers require approximately one third of the pulling force at the kingpin, making the Byford AB and A double the most efficient in its class, with less torque and drag stress on the vehicle and road infrastructure. Here you can see the combination negotiating the left-hand turn without the tag trailer leaving the bitumen surface. Note the pothole created by other vehicles. Navigating on farm is much easier. The Byford 20 and 26 metre tankers can be operated with limited access, which equates to a higher productivity operation with less vehicles on the road. Due to Byford's quality engineering, the Byford AB double wheels do not leave the bitumen on cornering. The combination trails extremely well, from the prime mover through to the tag trailer. Prior to these combinations, the expected tyre life for a tanker is around 80,000 kilometres. Recently, tyre wear inspections were conducted on Byford's AB and A double combinations. The recorded results show that on the Byford AB and A double combinations will more than double the previous vehicles with a capability of reaching 300,000 kilometres. Not only does this prove its efficiency on the road, 
but also goes hand in hand with minimal wear and tear on the road surface in general transport duties. These two innovative products are supported by the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator and the Performance Based Standards, which is the National Vehicle Accreditation System. Bifid, revolutionising the transport industry through quality engineering and design. Innovation, not imitation.